Here in this video, I will be addressing one of the biggest issues people have with my modding tutorials here on the channel, and that being related to 7-Zip. A lot of people have troubles knowing which version to download for their system, as well as getting it set up correctly after the fact. So to start off, you want to go to 7-Zip.org, 7-Zip.org. It'll be linked down in the description below. At the top of the 7-Zip.org website will be the most updated and stable version of 7-Zip, which currently at the time of making this video is 7-Zip 19.0. There are two different versions that you can download, one being a 32-bit x86 and the other being a 64-bit x64. Now, in order to double check that you can go ahead and use the 64-bit version, all you want to do is go to your Windows search bar and type in system information. It should automatically pop up and you can go ahead and just click on it. On this page, you should see something that says system type and it should say either x64 or x86 based PC. So now that we have figured out that we're running a 64 bit system, let's go ahead and click the download hyperlink as seen on screen and that will ask us to save it to somewhere on our PC. We can go ahead and just save it right to our downloads folder so that it is easy to find. Once it is downloaded, we can go ahead and open up our downloads folder and just simply double click on the executable for the 7-zip installer. This will ask us if we want to allow the unknown publisher to make changes to the device. Just go ahead and click yes, and it will ask you where you want the destination folder. Please just leave this destination folder as is. Do not touch it. It will automatically install it to the program files as it should. Hit install. It will go ahead and go through the installation process. It should only take a couple of seconds. And once it says 7-zip is installed, you can go ahead and click close. In theory, you should be able to right click on files such as .7z and you should see something along the lines of 7-zip. And it will give you plenty of options such as open archive, extract files, extract here, extract to, and plenty more. However, if you do not see that menu when you right click, I will show you how to fix that. Go to your Windows search and type in 7-zip and something along the lines of 7-zip file manager should pop up. Go ahead and open that and that will open up the file manager itself. We want to go ahead and click tools, go to options, click on the 7-zip tab and that will bring us the options that we're looking for. As we can see, we have integrate 7-zip to shell context menu and integrate 7-zip to shell context menu 32-bit. You want to make sure that both of these are checked off. Make sure they're checked, hit apply, Hit OK, close off, and you're good to go. 7-Zip should now show up in the context menu. So right click, go to 7-Zip, and we can choose Open Archive for an example, or we can go ahead and right click, go 7-Zip, and go to Extract To, and that will extract that archive into a folder like so. It's that simple. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please smack that like button down below. Subscribe to the Good Fight if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to stay in all of my future videos would be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy signing off.